Well, today on Good Day Live, as we mentioned yesterday, we're going to be giving away a fantastic book. Yeah. And I personally am upset because I'm giving it away. Now I'm going to have to go I buy know. it. Now you're going to have to buy it. Because first in line <laughs> is a book about presidents, vice presidents, and the pursuit of power. And the author is Kate Anderson Brower. She's a bestseller of The Residents and First Women. And today she joins us to talk about her latest book. Kate, welcome to Good Day Live. Thank you so much for having me. Kate, let's just dive in. What can viewers learn when they turn the pages of First in Line? Well, I, I tried to tell history from a different perspective, like I did with my other books about the resident staff and the first ladies. This is from the vice president's perspective, and I think it sheds light on who the president is, what their personality is like. Um, I think one of the more interesting things I learned reporting the book, and I interviewed more than 200 people, including every living former VP, so all six of them, um, was that Melania Trump played a big role in picking Mike Pence, and oh. that I interviewed somebody who was there for this discussion discussion, the final discussion the Trumps had at their golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, and she said, I think we need a clean VP, um, which meant no Newt Gingrich, no Chris Christie. She wanted someone who was squeaky clean like Mike Pence, somebody who didn't have rumors of affairs or messy finances. And I just thought that shed light on her. I mean, we don't see her as someone who cares about politics. Um, and I think it shows that she, she was involved in her husband's campaign. You know, we obviously are very proud of our vice president here in the Hoosier State and having the chance to interview him when he was then governor and meet the man who now sits in that chair. She did a good job. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I have to ask, though, because you, you take a look, really, go, going back in history, at some very interesting relationships between presidents and vice presidents. Are there any that surprised you as far as their relationships? Well, I do think that Joe Biden and Barack Obama's relationship surprised me because, you know, I was a White House reporter and I covered President Obama's first term and I was always under this impression that they got along well from the beginning and they really didn't. They had a hard time at the beginning. Um, they did not click right away, but over the years they grew close. I think also I interviewed Al Gore and I was stunned because when I asked him what it was like to work in a White House where you had a first lady, Hillary Clinton, who was so powerful, um, and what was it like? And he said, I think our interview is almost over. And this is when I first got, you know, started talking to him. So he wanted to end the interview over that question because he does have some hard feelings because he lost in 2000 in part because of Monica Lewinsky and that scandal. Um, and he's still upset about it. And it tore his family apart. So, I mean, these are about, this is about families. This is about um, trust and respect. And I think with Bill Clinton and Al Gore, they were like, I mean, Al Gore told me they were like brothers wow. um, at the beginning. And it, it really unraveled, and it's sad. With all your research, and clearly you've put everything into this book, what message do you want readers to take away when they read this book? That's a great question. I think, you know, um, I do think that everyone, most of, I think every one of the men, and it has been all men, in this book, although I have a chapter on the second lady in this book, which involves Karen Pence, which I think is interesting, um, they, they do have good intentions. They, they do want what's best for the country. Um, but it's difficult. It's complicated. Um, the Constitution lays out only two jobs for a vice president, to succeed the president and to be president of the Senate. So these are people who are in a position that's almost like the first lady's position, which is totally undefined. Um, they, their lives and their careers depend on their relationship with the president, with the person on top in charge of everything. And um, I think they all have difficulty with it, and that's why I dedicated the book to the six um, li living, uh, well, actually with Mike Pence, the seven uh, vice presidents in the book, um, because I think that I do have sympathy for them and, and how tough it is to run against somebody and then have to work for them. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm, I'm a history buff, and I can't wait to, to read the book. I can't wait till we get the chance to give it to to a lucky viewer this week. And Kate, we, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Well, thank you. It's been fun.